Today, we're gonna be talking about my favorite fragrance dupe house of literally all time. Let's get into it. I have not been paid to talk about this. Like, if you can see, I barely have any subscribers. There's this place called Frag Plus Bar in Canada. They also house blend dupes of all types of perfumes, designer niche, and they do oils and perfume versions of them. So first, we're gonna start with Delina. And Delina, as you guys know, it's a rose-based fragrance. This is a gorgeous take on Delina. It is practically Delina, but an oil version. It is so spot on. It's rosy, it's creamy, it's green. If you like Dolina, you will definitely love this because it's practically a 90% dupe. And then next we have Valaya. Valaya is the one that I really love to use like after I shower with my moisturizer or I just like put like a little dab on my neck. Valaya is this beautiful kind of out of the shower scent. And this one, I will say the original is a little bit more musky. This one is a little bit more warmer and like a little bit heavier, but I don't mind that to be honest. It's still very fresh and nice. Like after you shower and you put this on, you're like, mm, what's most so good it smells like a really good fancy hotel body gel or like a fancy shampoo next we have dama bielka this is probably my favorite one out of okay no it's my second favorite it's my second favorite one out of all of them i'll let you know what my favorite like my top favorite is in like maybe a couple minutes but this one is it is so good this smells like when you walk into a luxurious spa this scent is what you smell it is so good when you put this on you smell like a walking spa, meditating zen kind of room. Mm. Oh my god, you guys. What I like to do with these is I like to just like mix it in with body moisturizer or anything. Like mix in like two, three drops. You smell good all day. And next we have 100 Silent Ways. vanilla -y, Sandalwoody, and Peachy. I have to just smell the original first. Okay, it's not that close to 100 Silent Ways. I would say it's like a 60-70% dupe. If you are looking for a dupe for 100 Silent Ways, I wouldn't recommend this one. All the previous ones I would recommend. This smells very good, but it doesn't smell like 100 Silent Ways. It's much more woody vanilla and there's less peach in there. It's kind of just like fruity and not very peachy. Obviously, we have Becker Rouge dupe. And if you know me, you know that Becker Rouge is not my favorite scent profile. But honestly, I like this little itty bitty thing. Much more than I like the original Becker Rouge because it has less of that burnt plastic smell and more like sweetness and warmness. It smells kind of like a warm hug and it's it's really nice. I like it way more, like way more than Becker Rouge. Next, I told you we would get to my favorite one, my top one. This is the Peony and Blush Suede Dupe. Oh my god, you guys, I love that fragrance so much, but I never got a full bottle because it literally lasts two hours for something that I'm paying $200 for. So I've literally been on the hunt for really good dupes of peony and blush suede for the past year. So far, this peony and blush suede is the best dupe I have ever found on that Jo Malone fragrance. It is absolutely spot on and it lasts how I want the Jo Malone one to last. It lasts over eight hours. Stunning every time I wear this and literally like when I'm saying I'm wearing this, I put one drop here, one drop here, one drop on the elbow and maybe like I'll just put a little bit into my hands and like sometimes rub it onto my clothes. It doesn't stain your clothes or anything and oh my god, I smell Fantastic. Oh, freaking bitch. That's all I wanted from the Jo Malone perfume. But you know what the Jo Malone perfumes? They're eau de cologne. There's different concentrations. So the first there's like eau de cologne and then there's eau de toilette and then there's eau de parfum. And basically eau de colognes, they have one of the least concentrations of perfume oils in them. If I'm paying $200, I'm not expecting eau de cologne. Like, girl, what is eau de cologne? No, give me at least an eau de parfum. We have two left. So next one is Hibiscus Mahajan. Out of all of these, this is the only one that I've ever gotten that I have not liked. Do I really like the original fragrance? I don't, but I don't hate it. It smells so green that it's literally bitter. It smells like when you are cutting flowers, but only the stem of the flower and like a bitter smell. It's not good to me. I really don't like it. I don't mind the original, but would I ever buy a full bottle? Never. All right, last one we have Herba Gold. This is a dupe for the new Zerjoff perfume. It's like kind of like a little bit more tropically than Herba Pura. I really like this one. This one is really good to layer with like my favorite, absolute favorite air perfume of all time. This is Al Hermain Amber Oud. This is a dupe for Herba Pura. It smells so much better than Herba Pura. Herba Pura has this sharpness to it that this has fixed. 
Okay, when you layer these two, you'll smell good until the next day. It is amazing. It is beautiful. Whenever I wear this, I pass by someone. They're like, mm, what is that? Like, who is she? It's so good. I love it. Anyways, guys, that was my little review on these Arab oils. I could not recommend these enough. And as always, thank you so much for supporting me. And thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and would like to see more, subscribe. I also do a lot of makeup videos as well. And please like this video and comment down below what kind of videos you'd like to see. Bye!